Hey you guys, so you guys know on February 22nd how um, I bought this 2005 Infiniti, the G35 system, right? Well, you guys, this is the situation. I test drove the car for an hour. Everything appeared to be fine because the dealer, he was trying to, you know, convince me to buy the car. At the dealership that I got the car, it's called Magnet Investments. That is spelled M-A-G-N-A-T-E Investments, right? So he was all like, oh, do you like this Infinity? Let me, my car is right here. He was like, oh, do you like this Infinity? I was like, yeah. <laughs> he was like, okay, so test drive it. I test drove it for an hour. It appeared to be fine. Um... So then, you know, I asked him, I was just like, hey, I know that Hurricane Harvey hit, where was this car? He was like, no, this car wasn't near Hurricane Harvey. Everything is fine with this car. This car is perfect, new tires, new brakes, just got smogged, good emission, good um, um, transmission, good everything. I was like, okay, cool. I signed the paperwork, you know, I was in there for a couple hours, I drove the car for an hour, no check engine light, no, nothing was on. And mind you, I bought it February um, 22nd. So yesterday, right, it's February 25th, and my check engine light is on, my car is shaking, my, ba my brakes are not stopping in the back. I'm only stopping on my front brakes. So I'm like, oh my God, like I just had this car for not even three days. What's the matter with it? So I take it to AutoZone, right? AutoZone, um, they tested, they said that the Cadillac <laughs> converter is out and something about the vape system, something about like the gross leak something, right? I don't know. Anyway, so then I called the dealership, you know, yesterday. I was just like, hey, you know, you told me that this is a good car. The, the Cadillac converter is out. Um... I said, it has a leak. I'm like, <coughs> can we make arrangements on the car? He was all like, no. He was all like, I told you, you know, the car is good. It's good. I don't know what you did to it. I'm like, whatever. So just because it was a Cadillac converter, I was going to pay the money to get it fixed. I was like, okay, well, that's the only thing that was wrong with it. Whatever. So today is February 26th. 3 a.m. in the morning, my horn was going off for the alarm system, right? My my keys to the car was not turning off the alarm. I put the key inside my door to unlock the car. It didn't turn off. I started my car, right? The alarm was still going off. The neighbors came outside. They said, hey, we're going to call the cops on you. We're trying to sleep. It's 3 a.m. in the morning, and we all got work at 6. I was like, you know, I, I apologize. I just bought this car on Friday. He told me it's good. I don't know what's wrong with the alarm. And as you guys know, I live in Houston with some friends. So my friend had to take me to Walmart, and we just had to leave the car beeping all night in Walmart. And if it died, it died. So then, you know, I came back home. I went to sleep. <laughs> Got the car at 9.30 a.m. So then um, I took it to this. It's called Louise um, Auto Care Mechanic Shop, right? So they did a diagnostics on the car, right? Because even though I took it to AutoZone, they can't tell me everything was wrong with the car. They can only tell me what's wrong with the car when the light came on. <laughs> so then when we <coughs> did, <coughs> sorry, I'm coughing. So when we did the um, diagnostic at the mechanic shop, he was all like, somebody fucked you over real bad because all these codes for the engine are erased. I was like, what do you mean it's erased? He was all like, honestly, this car has a lot of problems, but I can't read the code because I can show you right here on my, my thing, it says that it been erased. I was just like, what? So they showed me a fucked up car knowing that they erased the codes out the engine, right? So then I took it back to the dealership. So I was just like, hey, I was all like, I, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but you guys sold me a car and you guys erased the, the codes, you know, that was wrong with the engine, you know? And then too, oh, my back brakes are out. My, ba my 
back brakes are out completely and the only thing <coughs> stopping me is the front brakes and he was like well you test drove the car and you said that you liked it I was like yeah but when I was test driving it the brakes was working and the engine light was on and all of a sudden all the shit you know is broken in the last three days so now with this guy he don't want to I can't I asked him if I can give him the car back and get my money back he said no I was like okay so can I you know trade in the car you know for something different he said no so I'm like okay so now I'm I'm stuck now with a <coughs> with a fucked up car so you know I got this car in Houston Texas and um, I'm with a mechanic right now we're trying to figure out what's wrong with the horn why the alarm is keep on going off but basically I bought um, a car that was hit in Hurricane Harvey underneath the water the mechanic or the car dealership he knew that you know I called the police on him because he wouldn't give me back my money he wouldn't give me a new car and he was laughing he was like okay do that then like if you want to do that do that so then you know the police told me they told me it's fucked up he said it's not right it's fucked up but this is a, a, a civil issue and we have to go to court so I was just like okay I'm gonna go to the courthouse fire file the um, paperwork but yeah honestly at the end of the day <clears throat> I got fucked over with this car I bought this car see like the mechanic he's in there trying to <clears throat> do whatever the fuck he can to turn off this horn but it's not beeping now so I guess that's a good thing but yeah so I got fucked over I paid this car four thousand dollars cash <clears throat> and you know I'm a female I really don't know anything about cars I'm not a mechanic or anything but you know I I, I don't know I, at the end of the day I believe in God I believe that, you know, they knew that the car was fucked up. They sold me a fucked up car. God is watching. Um, karma is going to hit ten times harder, you know. Because there's no point of me of, like, yelling, threatening, you know, threatening to, oh, I'm going to blow up your motherfucking car dealership, which I really want to do. Like, don't get, don't get me wrong. But, you know, I'm a Christian. I believe in God. God is going to take care of me with this car. You know, this is a lesson learned. God is watching down on them, you know, cause, because I paid cash for the car, you know, the money is gone. Um, but if he's a licensed dealership and if he's selling me a fucked up car, then, you know, I don't know. Like, I, 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 <laughs> I really don't know. Um, I pray that this mechanic fix the horn problem because I don't want to wake up again at 3.30 in the morning driving it to Walmart, you know. And then if my friend's not home, I have to Uber back. So, I don't know, you know, I just, I just pray that the good Lord is with me with this car, get this situation settled. Um, I just wanted to share my experience with you guys and let them know that Magnet Investments is a fucked up car dealership. And he said that if I do anything, then he's going to sue me. Well, I mean... Because when the car, when the horn was going off at the dealership, everybody was asking me what's wrong with my car. And I told them, I was like, hey, I bought the car from here. And, you know, it's it's acting like this. And then he was like, don't tell people what's wrong with the car. I'm going to sue you. I was like, listen, you're not going to win if you sue me. So people was asking. He's acting like if I'm running around his parking lot telling people not to buy his fucked up cars. No. The people came to me and asked me what's wrong with my car. And I can only speak on my car and my car only. And when I did that, he got mad. So, and then too, like he threatened me. Like he got in my face. He yelled at me. So, you know what? And I got half of it on video, so the video part that I have, you know, if he wants to go to court, then we can do that. But I'm just want to know my, let you guys know about my experience with this car dealership.
way you talk to people that people can work with you. Are Aki was not trying to work yeah, with her. He said, he no. said there's nothing I can do. When we right. first pulled up here, he said, I don't know what you're coming with. Because there's okay. nothing I can do. So, uh, so what do you mean? So, we, so, so the police now. is coming, right? Yeah, because. You already called the police. Yeah, I so called so to the police. Let's wait for, for the police. But this are. is yeah. the thing. I called yesterday. Mm -hmm. I told him everything about the problems yesterday. Mm -hmm. I said, hey, I understand you gave me a bad car, and maybe he didn't know, mm -hmm. you know, and that's understandable. Mm -hmm. But I said, can I at least get a different car if you guys can't give me my money back? Because there's no reason why a car alarm should be going off, especially in the first three days. And then she took but it to the mechanic. Let, let me the tell mechanic you, anything can happen. Oh my God! I'm not. I'm not saying you did it. Okay. But these are these are unforeseen circumstances. There's no way I can say, oh, the horn is gonna go off in three okay, days. Okay, okay, well, okay when it goes out now, engine, we have to find. No, but this is the thing. This is what I'm trying to get at. I took it to a mechanic today, and I have proof on record. I hold on, hold on. Went to a mechanic. Yeah, no, I have proof mm -hmm. on record that the engine codes are erased. So for that horn to what, go off, what engine code? All of the engine codes. How, you how, you want how, you want to see the paper? How do you know that? How she she I tell the mechanic. Okay. So if, you know, okay, if the mechanic told you that, are you are, are you alleging that we uh, raised the cost? Oh, yes, yes, I, no. yes, yes, yes. Because we bought the car from somebody too. Okay, well, that person bought the car from somebody. Did you have the mechanic check? The mechanic would have known that somebody did it. Do you see mechanic? Do you have the mechanic? Well, you guys should have it. Why is my form? You can't just tell someone a car that you But I don't get why my hornets keep on going off. Like, where's Hakeem at? Hakeem! Hakeem, yeah. come yeah. back here. Yeah, we, yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's not here. No, you're not because you're trying to get over it. Right, exactly. You're just trying to get over on her. So we're right, exactly. going to do yeah. to work with her. So because she, she no longer wants this car. At least if you guys can't give me my money back, at least I want something better. Okay. That we don't have want to come here. Okay. Wait, my engine is keep on honking. Why is it doing that? Why is the engine keep on doing that? Friday. She just got a car on Friday. This my sister. She got this car on Friday, and y'all told her that she couldn't drive this car. I'm done. Why are you done? You sold me a fucked up car. I'm done. And we gotta go to court. We gotta go to court. What? You already been to court. Then We're listen. I'm waiting for the police to come because I just bought this piece of shit on fucking Friday. Okay, the police is gonna you come. The car. You said you yeah, the car. because I didn't have any problems. You guys erased the engine code. My mechanic proved to me that you erased the engine code from that car and the bad brakes. The brakes on the the back is how, bad. How can how can your mechanic? Because tell you they you have a machine. Okay, Where, so yeah. they have a machine. You, did you drive the car? I did, and it didn't have any problems. Okay. There's no check and engine. You said you like the car. That day, right? Back. But you guys. Oh, guy, sir, like the Do you guys hear this horn? Right. You guys don't have a mechanic. You and you guys didn't have a mechanic when I brought the car the too. Do you, see okay. Wait, you, you just said inside that you guys can do a mechanic. Okay. Listen. Yeah. Just now, when we was inside, now you trying to push the shit up. Now you trying to switch the story in front of your customers. Oh yeah, we're, we're just gonna wait for the police because I need my money back for this. I did not sign up for a broken ass car. You guys said it was perfect. You guys lied to me. Especially forty five hundred dollars. Damn. Mm. Right. Friday. I, I Friday. bought this car on Friday. The alarm, do, do you hear the alarm coming in? Yeah, it's it, it been like that ever it's, since. It won't stop. Yeah, it won't stop. The key, the alarm system, it won't stop. It's been like that ever since 3 a.m. this morning. My my neighbors, they was about to call the police. They're like, you need to fix we this car. The car. We yeah. we had to take this car to Walmart. She and tried just, to return it within the first three days of having it, which is by Texas law, you should... They, you should erase, they erased the engine codes. I took it to the mechanic today. They said, oh, all of the engine codes are erased. And then the brakes are bad. But when I first test drive it, of With, course... For one hour. See? Car is perfect. This car doesn't have any issues. 
they said it's no flood damage. You can tell this car got flooded. They, they don't even know that because they don't have it. They don't have it. Uh, they, they don't have it. Right. They don't have it. They don't have it. They don't have it. Like I said, they should have a mechanic to actually look at this car. You can't just say the car is good because the right. car is technically And he not said good. that they just sell them. They don't. Yeah, they don't them. check it. Because I saw that Pontiac and it was all. Right. I took it to the and they said it's, all it's from Kia. It's, right. it's all rusted. It's from Kia. And it had uh, oil in it. No. So every single car is like this thing. I would, I would, I'm just waiting for the cops to get here. They, it doesn't matter. They you can talk all they want. You can do that because you're creating that. See, and they hurt me too. No, because the thing about it, you don't have a mechanic to look at right. these cars. And these cars probably been but on look, the water. I've been recording this whole entire time. Me okay, too. cool. <laughs> it's terrible. For one hour, you can't tell if it's a good car within one hour. I, I just it drove it for an hour. It needs to be 45. It needs to be more than an hour. Right. That's why they give you, they give you two days. That's why they give you three days. Car here and be out. Uh, then that's gonna be her money, right? Uh, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, but she had to pay her. I'd pay, no, but like, I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't want to drive it. Shoot, I know she can't just live in here. Then they're gonna check it and say, Oh, we don't know. They say, they're shady. They are the business. Okay, so I'm actually, no, I'm just gonna make another video. I'm gonna post two videos at the same time explaining the situation and they're they're hostile but hakeem you you hear this though right and you got ears mm -hmm. don't even mm -hmm. it wasn't like you saw your body well, I, okay mm -hmm. i'm gonna be calm to you i went to the mechanic and they said that 